bid optimization has now hit Seller Central directly. No longer do you have to use an expensive PPC software to manipulate your bids based on time of day or day of week. My name is Stephen Pope. I'm the founder of My Amazon Guy, and we're going to be diving into Campaign Manager today to talk about the new feature for scheduling your bids on Amazon. Uh, first, you'll notice that there's this new thing called sponsored TV ads coming out uh, that just hit everybody's accounts last week. For a video on that, check out this other video uh, before diving in. All right, so on Amazon, I've spent $21,000 of my own money in the last 30 days, generating $48,000 in sales with an ACoS of 45%. I obviously would love to shave that a point or two, maybe even three, if we can make that happen. So our goal today is to dive into some of our more expensive campaigns and see if we can make that happen. So here we're going to go into uh, this campaign right here and poke around and look at the campaign settings. So there's budget rules right here. And if you hit add budget rule, that brings up this screen. And this allows you to change the budgets up, no down. Gosh dang it, Amazon, give us some decrease <laughs> options as well, right? But this is specific to budgets, not bids. So we're going to be going to a different area for today's video. I previously covered how to set up budget rules in this other video here. So we're going to hit back and go into the next settings section. We're going to click on campaign settings. And in here, you can go to the campaign bidding strategy section. Uh, and most of you are going to be familiar with this little drop down here between dynamic bids up and down, dynamic bids down only, and fixed bids. Generally speaking, I would start out a campaign on fixed bids and morph it over to up and down. Uh, and then if my ACoS was out of control, but I didn't want to pause the campaign, I would switch it to down only. And that's basically all of the options we had historically. Well, now introducing this new one. Rule-based bidding. This literally just rolled out in the last 48 hours. So if you haven't logged into your campaign manager in the last 48 hours, you wouldn't even know this existed. Amazon does not do a very good job of talking about its new features as they roll out. Uh, so you have to pay attention and follow and hit subscribe on this channel to be in the up and up and no, quite frankly. So we're going to switch this over to rule-based bidding in here and check this out. And here's what it says, learn about bidding strategies, rule-based bidding, apply a rule to adjust bids in real time while seeking to keep ROAS as a value that you set. So we're gonna click on this learn more button and see what Amazon is describing. Bidding rules for sponsored products, bidding rules take the guesswork out of adjusting bids to achieve your marketing strategy. So if we scroll down and kind of look through what it has to say here, I'll just summarize it, and it basically says you can now say, hey, between Monday, between 9 a.m. and 11 a.m., you could have a bid increase by 10% or 20%. And they're saying it's an additive thing, which means that this will stack with your budget rule, which means this will stack with anything else that you have in the system. Uh, so keep that in mind. Uh, it's additive. It's not, it's, gonna be, it's not exclusive on its bidding type. So scheduled bid rules would be applied on top of your placement adjust adjustment. So if you also have uh, a bid modifier for top of search at 30%, and then you had a bid increase between Monday at 9 a.m. until 11 a.m. of 10%, you could be bidding 40% higher than your regular bid. So as people start testing this out, you're probably going to hear a bunch of naysayers talk about how it increased their ACoS, and that's going to happen to some people. Uh, so there's going to be certain times of day that are going to perform better, uh, and there's some technical things you have to set up to get this done correctly. This only works with sponsored products at this time. They don't guarantee any results, uh, and this does work with any type of, of keyword targeting, so automatic product or keyword sections. So uh, those are the basic things to keep in mind. Uh, it does have a little call out for special days such as Prime Day and Black Friday. The average bid necessarily will increase. You'll receive an email from Amazon and message through our ads console so you can increase your average bid uh, during those special time frames. All right, so let's see if we can figure out how to set this up together. Uh, so if we select rule-based bidding, drive sales will seeking to keep a ROAS of 1.6 or above, it says. So we can hit an edit on this. And a rule-based bidding section, uh, we can change this to try and go to 2. So drive sales while maintaining a ROAS at or above 2.0 and hits update bid rule. And let's see what that does right there. 
and that will be a campaign bidding strategy adjustment. We also have the ability to schedule rules now, and this is the newest section. And here we're going to hit show rules, which none exists at the moment. And we're going to switch this to add a scheduled rule. So you can select between a particular date range. So if you want to schedule this for Black Friday in advance, you could do that and make it really easy so you don't have to come in on Black Friday and upload your bulk sheet, uh, et cetera. Uh, or you could let this stay in perpetuity. So you could change this uh, for any particular date range, uh, day a week. Uh, let me unclick that Amazon. All right, I got to click the 11. Okay. Recurrence. So we could do daily, we could do weekly. So we want this to be on specific um, portions. So let's say I would like to increase on Sundays and Mondays. And I could choose run all day or start an end time day. So I'm going to do, uh, I know that I do the best between, um, I, I, I'm going to create a couple of rules here. So I'm going to say we we're starting at say 6 p.m and go until 11 p.m., I'm going to increase my bids by 25%, which is probably a little aggressive. Uh, so let's go down to 20. Okay, so I'm going to call this the uh, Monday, Sunday, 20% bump like that. And I'm going to hit add rule. Now, what would be really cool is if I could do this on the account-wide setting um, and do this across everything. Now, I don't think that's possible, but I'm going to check it out. So now you'll see I got one rule up. It's got active right there. Uh, and we're going to hit another rule. And this time we're going to do uh, Sundays and Mondays again. So weekly Sundays and Mondays. And choose a certain time of day. And this time we're going to do 8 a.m. until 5 p.m. And we're going to up the bids 12%. And we're going to call this the Monday, Sunday morning, 12% bump and hit add rule right there. So in theory, what I'm trying to accomplish here is that I want to, and it looks like I have a, a one hour time frame I haven't accounted for. So I'm going to hit edit on this and change that to 6 p.m. Because I know that Mondays and Sundays are the best day for my particular campaign and products. So I have... Uh, and it looks like I hit edit. It looks like I hit the uh, date range here. So I had to turn that into a scheduled. So let's switch that back, hit edit rule. So now it's active. Okay. So I'm going to increase my bids by 12% and then I'm going to increase them by 20% once it gets to six o'clock, just like that. Now, when I hit add schedule rule, I cannot do a negative. So I'm trying to type in the negative key right now. Won't go through. So this is only going to work for bidding up which is my biggest complaint with Amazon. Anytime they come out with a new feature, uh, they typically only want you to spend more money on advertising. Uh, so the way you have to account for this is you could take your bid, let's say your normal bid. Uh, let's, let's see, do I need to hit save anywhere? I think I do. Okay, so hit save. And then we got top of search right here. Did it let me hit save? Looks like it went through. Uh, now I can't hit edit anywhere. I can't hit edit on the uh, adjust placements here. In addition to your bidding strategy, you can bid up. So I don't know why that's grayed out now. Uh, but we've got other bidding strategies selected there. And we're going to bid. Uh, we want dynamic bids up and down with those rules. Sorry, there was a problem with your settings. All right, so we're going to hit refresh and see what happens. See if everything is saved or lost. Looks like it went through okay. Except the dynamic up and down. Hit save. All right. So it's not letting me save that. So this is a little buggy. You can see that right there. Uh, and then I can't have the adjust uh, replaces bid plus section down here with the adjust bids by placement at the same time, which is against what they told us. They said it was additive. Uh, so you can see some things not quite working out as much as we will. In addition to that, we could set another budget rule uh, to go on top of this. Uh, so that, you know, like, hey, we think we might hit that $250 budget. We could increase that budget at the same time, say go up 10% during those certain time periods. Uh, so we could have Mondays and Sundays and increase the budget 10%. Uh, Monday, Sunday, 10 bump. We'll just type that in lazily there and hit add budget rule. Okay, so now we've got that in place. Campaign settings, rule-based bidding Monday and Sundays are up. But what I would really love to do is to downbid Fridays and Saturdays because those are my worst days. 
Um, and I won't be able to do that effectively here. So what I could do is hit an up bid for Tuesday through Thursday of say 5% and then go back and lower my overall bid by 5% or something like that. That's, that's how you'd have to get around doing that. Um, I just downloaded a bulk sheet to see if they have enabled uh, this particular strategy yet. And I, it looks like they haven't. Um, sometimes the Excel files also have a little bit of errors. You can see here, here's the match type strategy, which is where I believe this will eventually end up. Uh, drop down doesn't show up. And basically what you would do is you would switch that over to the new uh, bid modification, but then you would have to have additional columns for the days of week, days of, uh, of time of day. And, and I don't know how they're going to make that display in a bulk sheet strategy right here. So that doesn't exist at this time, but it's definitely something I'm going to keep a very big eye on because what we just did in about, you know, seven minutes or so on one campaign, that's going to add up if I've got 200 plus campaigns. I'm going to want a bulk sheet operation ability. And just if you're curious how to get to this section, you just click on sponsored ads, go into bulk operations right here. And in here, you can see all the things you can download, um, data, changes, etc. And you hit create spreadsheet for download. And that's what pulled this up right here. And then what for those that haven't used bulk sheets before, I highly recommend checking them out. Uh, but then you would fill this out. And then you would re upload it in. And a lot of times what people will do is they'll download their current data set, make some modifications, run a macro, you know, do a bid tweak based on rules and run some filters and then re upload it in. Uh, instead of trying to pay, you know, thousands of dollars for PPC software, they'll make the changes in the bulk sheet and load it in. As an agency at my Amazon guy, we currently do bulk sheets over PPC automation. And there's a lot of reasons for that, including the fact that AI really screws up when holidays come up, like that Labor Day uh, situation where bids just get all kinds of jacked up and we end up uh, having worse results with AI. So I do think AI is great. It's better than no human, but we do believe humans are better than AI when it comes to PPC management for stability and growth, especially growth. AI is really good at cutting costs, though. I'll have to say that. So the nice thing is, is that you can go into old campaigns and add these new campaign bidding strategies in. Instead of having to create new campaigns, you can still just kind of layer it in there, uh, go back and optimize it further. This is going to be pretty much a no brainer for every single Amazon account, because as you go through your business data, you know, you perform better during certain times of day or days a week. And you, you know, you're going to want to spend more money during certain times and limit your exposure during the others. So I highly recommend everybody check this out. It's gonna be a little bit of time consumption to manually set this up since bulk sheets don't have this yet, but that could change very quickly. Again, this is a new feature, um, so always test it in moderation. Maybe instead of that 20% or 12% bid, maybe start with 5% just to play it safe and see how it goes. My name is Stephen Pope. I'm the founder of My Amazon Guy. You can check out our own PPC management by going to myamazonguy.com slash PPC. We also offer full service management for SEO, PPC, design, catalog management, and everything in between. So please come check us out over at myamazonguy.com.